uh, welcome today we are going to study a mass pulley system which is a continuation of newton's laws of motion so the question is uh, there is a pulley and two masses m1 and m2 where m1 is greater than m2 and connected by a inextensible string and the pulley is fixed then you have to find the acceleration of the blocks and tension in the string so we will solve this question from newton's laws of motion so let us say that the string has a tension t in this way so it has a tension t upward same tension t downward and because the pulley is not moving and it is in extensible string so the tension in both the strings will be same and now we have to find the acceleration and we have given that m1 is greater than m2 then block m1 must be going downward and block m2 is going in upward direction okay let the acceleration of these blocks be a and a i am taking the same acceleration because the pulley is fixed and if the pulley is not fixed then the acceleration will be different in both the sides and the gravity m1 g will be acting in downward direction and m2 g will acting on the downward direction now let us uh, draw the free body diagram the free body diagram and the solve this equation and we will get the a and value of t okay so this is for block m1 it is this is mass m1 this is m1 g the tension is acting upward t and the block is having acceleration in downward direction so the equation of motion for this is given by m1 g minus t that is a net force that will be equal to mass time acceleration and similarly the free body diagram for m2 is that is m2 g the gravitational force is uh, acting downward direction tension t is in upward direction and the block is moving in upward direction so it will have a overall acceleration in upward direction so uh, writing equation of motion for block 2 equation of motion it will give me t minus m2 g is equal to m2 a so let us call this equation 1 and equation 2 now we have two equations and two unknowns unknowns are t and a so let us solve so here i will solve these equations so uh, add equation 1 and 2 you will get m1 g minus m2 g minus m2 g is equal to m1 plus m2 times a so the acceleration is given by m1 minus m2 times g divided by m1 plus m2 so that is the acceleration of this block one is this answer the acceleration of this block we have find out that is m1 minus m2 g by m1 plus m2 now substitute the value of a in any one of the equation or you can just simply uh, subtract equation 1 and 2 so after subtract no you just substitute it it will be more easy so substituting in equation 1 that is m1 g minus t is equal to m1 acceleration is m1 minus m2 times g by m1 plus m2 so from here you will get t is equal to there will be one m1 square g m1 square g will cancel out and there will be m1 m2 m1 m2 two times so it will 2 m1 m2 g by m1 plus m2 so when you calculate it the t the tension will be given by this and the acceleration is given by this so we have solved this mass pulley system and having the acceleration m1 minus m2 g by m1 plus m2 and t is equal to twice of m1 m2 g by m1 plus m2 so this is the acceleration and tension in the string and tension in the string and acceleration of the blocks only if the pulley is fixed if the see what happens if this pulley is going with an acceleration it is not fixed and going with an acceleration a not 
so i am rubbing all these things and uh, then i will put the next word uh, i have written the acceleration and tension of the previous section and now i have redrawn the diagram where the pulley is not fixed and it is accelerating in the upward direction with the velo with the acceleration let's say constant acceleration a not so if the pulley was not uh, uh, if if the pulley was fixed then the acceleration was a a both the sides was acceleration was same if the pulley is going in an, an upward acceleration a not then the mass m1 has an acceleration that is a minus a not so the, for block a1 for block a1 not m1 the equation of motion now will be m1 g minus t is equal to m1 a minus a not see this you can understand by a uh, pseudo force concept also this is a accelerating frame of reference so it is an non inertial frame of reference so there is a pseudo force there is a pseudo force acting on both the particles both the mass that m1 and m2 so what is pseudo force let us suppose that uh there is a suppose one truck going on okay there is a truck going on with an acceleration a not so the mass m the particle uh, which have mass m on the truck is in non inertial frame of reference so it will act it will feel an unreal force with an magnitude of m a not in the just opposite direction of the acceleration so in the same way in the same way we can consider this acting as a pseudo force see how this is a uh, i am drawing the free body diagram this is mass m1 and it has a m1 g that is gravitational force it has tension t and it has an acceleration a in this direction now i am considering that the whole block whole system is going upward with acceleration a not so this particle of this block of mass m1 will feel an pseudo force in the opposite direction with an magnitude m a not okay so now writing the equation of motion it will be m the net force is m1 g plus m a not minus t is equal to mass times acceleration okay so now the net acceleration is given by m1 g minus t is equal to m a not minus m a not plus m a so the net acceleration is m a minus a not which i have written earlier okay so this is the acceleration of block m1 when seen from lab seen from lab and this a a was the acceleration when the pulley were pulley were at rest okay similarly for block m2 for block m2 we can write the equation of motion will be m2 a plus a not a plus a not is equal to t minus m2 g this a plus a not is a acceleration as seen from lab seen from lab okay so now we have equation of motions m1 minus g and uh, this two equations let us call this equation 1 and 2 now these equations are when when the pulley is having an acceleration of a not in the upward direction so when you solve this equation just by substituting adding and subtracting these two equations you will get acceleration is equal to m1 minus m2 times g by m1 plus m2 and this is g plus a not okay so this will be the acceleration and the tension in the string will be 2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 and this is g plus a not see you can see the similarity in the questions like when uh, the the pulley was fixed and the acceleration was m1 minus m2 g by m1 m2 now the accelerate now the effective g is becoming g plus a not and the tension where uh, there was only a g term and here it is g plus a not so the acceleration and tension now will be given by this formula you can also 
conclude from here that if a not is equal to zero, a not is equal to zero means that the pulley is not moving, not having an acceleration. So you will get the previous result. So that was uh, about the mass pulley system. So the acceleration of these blocks. Let us write the acceleration of these blocks m1 and m2. So from here. Let us conclude the lecture. So acceleration of block M1, what will be it will A minus A naught and M2, it will be A plus A naught where these acceleration are seen from lab, seen from lab, lab means from an uh, inertial frame of reference and where this a this a acceleration is x a is equal to acceleration of blocks with respect to pulley or when it is at rest when it is at rest so you have finally the acceleration of the blocks and the tension in the string. So we will be having uh, like in future in the more upcoming lectures we will having the, we, I will directly use this A and T to calculate. I will not will be deriving there this acceleration and tension. So you should remember these formulas. Thank you.